Hello loves and welcome back to my nail channel Pretty Nails by Claudia. Today we're going to be doing a set of poly gel nails on my natural nails because I need a new set guys like I just got tired of the other one it's been lasting it was on there so I had to go in and file all the way down. I still have a little bit of gel on my nails but that's okay I'm going to leave it on there it's not a biggie. Today I'm going to be going in with the blushed poly gel kit by McCart. Don't forget guys, I do have a 15% discount code. Um, I'm going to put it like right here for you guys in case you guys want to go ahead and order one of these kits. They're very, very amazing and great. I love them. To this, I mean, to this day I have like not, nothing to say bad about it. But I showed this kit in a prior video and um, basically this is what the colors in here look like. You get four colors. Look at how pretty they are. You can literally use these um, individually or you can create a really pretty French tip or a French nail set. And then you get two uh, holiday sh sticker sheets for your nails. You get snowflakes and then you get these which are like iridescent rainbow. <clears throat> Not iridescent but foiled. And then like I said you get four colors. You get a base coat. And then you get your top coat. And then you get a file. You get your brush. And then it comes with a spatula at the end. And then you get your dual forms. Personally, um, I'm not a huge fan of dual forms, so like I won't reach for them. Uh, but it's really good for like beginners, like if you guys are starting and um totally go for it try them out it might be your thing might not be your thing it is you know like it, it just like really depends on everyone okay so I ordered these super super long <laughs> tips from uh, Amazon and they're pretty dope like okay so they come in a package each and this package I think comes from size 0 to 10 or something I don't know but like they're all different sizes so here's 0 2, 10, 11. Okay, so it goes from 0 to 11. I practiced on our girl Penelope the other day. And, I mean, I gotta say, she came out really good. And this is poly gel right here. Uh, so, it, like, they, it, it came out really, really cute. And, like, th this is literally the design or, like, the shape I'm going for, which is, like, a tapered square um, flat nail. And um, this is just, like, my signature type of what would you call it design that I want to go for as a nail tech I know everybody has like their like every nail tech has I believe like their different preferred preferred way and I really am a big fan of like the tapered straight nail uh, type of look and I just like love this I also did this one too which I uh, came out really really pretty so and I did an ombre and um, yeah it just came out super super nice so anyways today I am not gonna do super super long nails even though I kind of want to but um I just know that I'm gonna get like I'm gonna go crazy at some point and want them off so anyways these are a little bit, a little bit, a little bit curved. Okay, so I'm going to use them, but I am going to cut them down pretty short because I do have other tips, but like they're super C-curve and I don't want a C-curve tip, so I'm just going to like work with these for now. And we're going to put poly gel over these. So let me go ahead and prep my nail first, which is what I'm going to do. I just want to show you guys. All right, my loves, I know my... Fingers and my hands look super dry because they are I have been washing them over and over again. No lotion But I already went ahead and prepped up my nails I pushed back my cuticle and I went in with my e-file and I cleaned up uh, The edges because I, my nails had grown so much, but I did went ahead and cut them down before the video uh, So yeah now I'm gonna Prep and prime my nails and that way our nails last a lot longer and this is from Mia secret uh, it's a little duo, comes together, and you use this clear one. And then the extra bond 
what is this, the primer. Okay, all right loves, I took it upon myself and did this hand off of camera really quick because this one takes me a very, a very long time, but this is what I came up with. So this is what we're gonna do on this hand now. Okay, so now I have like my tips here and I'm gonna just go ahead and look for my um, sizes. All right, look at how crazy long these nails are. Like I just can't, I can't imagine. Like, I can't imagine. If you guys like your nails this long, tell me how do you do it? Just, I just, I, I don't doubt you. I just like wanna be like you, you know? Um, okay, so now I'm gonna like cut them down as, you know, long as these. These are pretty long, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure out and just cut down. Okay. This is what they look like. Now they're a little bit on the wider side on top of here and uh, I'm, I'm going for, and I totally, you know what guys, like I'm so impressed with this hand. And let me tell you, that is something about poly gel. I'm so impressed with this hand because it literally came out so 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 good like just exactly as I wanted a nice tapered square uh, and like that just leads to poly gel being great when you're beginning because poly gel does not cure until you cure it or it poly gel does not harden until you cure it and so you have like all the time in the world to play around with the poly gel and like put it in the right place take some off and whatnot without it hardening therefore it's easier for me to like work with this hand and like not rush myself with this hand because this is not my this is my dominant hand and so it's like really hard to do this hand um hope that's like hope that made sense but um i'm just so impressed by the way on how good it came out like it just came out so good and i love it and i used i incorporated every single color so just wanted to mention that and so anyways, these nails are on the wider side. So what I'm going to go do with my scissors is just cut some of the corners off so it's like easier for me to like when filing. So that's just what I'm going to do. Just nip the corners. So I have less filing to do. And I'm sorry if I'm out of frame. All right, now it's time to file. This is my nail duster collector. It like literally is a lifesaver so that you don't have dust all over the place. I forgot where I had put it and I recently found it. <laughs> so let me, let me use her because yeah, like I said, it's a lifesaver. All right, loves. So I am pretty happy with the way I shape them. I did to the best of my ability because it's really hard. It's really, really hard to shape your own nails. Now I'm gonna go in with my base coat and I'm gonna cover up the entire nail. Now that we have our base coat on and cured, we're going to take our colors, which I have over here. 
I got this like really cute Dappen dish from Amazon. It's so pretty. So it's like the dish and then you just cover it like that after. It's so pretty, right? But my Amazon driver like tossed my bag and it, you know, he chipped it right here and a little bit inside, but you can't really tell a lot. So I'm not going to, I'm not that bothered about it. So anyways, I'm going to take my Dappen dish and I'm going to fill it up with some slip solution from a cart. That'll be enough for one hand. I'm also going to have a few pieces of paper here on the side so I can clean off my brush here and there. And we're going to start off with this color. This is the color Kiki. And yeah, so this is what I do. I usually like to apply like a bigger ball here at the top and then I kind of thin it out as we go down towards the bottom. So kind of like that. And then you take your brush and then you dip it inside of the slip solution. Tap it on the sides a little bit and then just press in. And I like to start towards the cuticle by pressing in and then going out from there. Remember that you can take as long as you want. Take your time, add, take off, do whatever you need to do. It's not going to harden until you cure it. So that's just like the super awesome thing about uh, poly gel. Now I'm just moving the poly gel up as I go and I don't want to move a lot either um, but I, because that's because I don't want the nail to be like super thick either. And then right here I'm just going to press like that and I'm going to take the leftover poly gel and scoop it out like that. Just be careful because it's really, really sticky. And then this is the part where you're going to need your little rag and then just press it on there like that. Clean off your brush. It's okay if you get like little things like that. It's fine because later on we're going to go ahead and do some filing to shape up the nail. Okay, so after you are finished or happy with what you are, you know, seeing and having, you can go ahead and cure that. All right, this is what it's gonna look like after it's cured. Um, this does leave a tacky layer, so it is sticky. What you wanna do is, I have an alcohol, an alcohol spray here. I'm just gonna spray the nail and then just wipe off the tacky layer so it doesn't get sticky and stuff doesn't stick on it. We're going to want to do this at the end or you're going to have to do it anyways when you file so it doesn't get all sticky and tacky. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just do the same thing I did on these nails. When I get to this nail I will show you guys how I created this nail.
gloves. Now we're down to this ring finger that I'm going to show you guys how I created this other one over here. Let's look for the color. Okay, this seems like the color. All right. So for this one, we're only going to put a little bit enough for here. So I'm going to put that much. And you see how I created like an almond shape or oval, not oval, but like almond shape, shape up here. You could do whatever you want. You can make it deeper. You can make it um, more rounded, however you guys want it to be. But I'm going to do it like that. So take our brush and I'm going to start with the cuticles. I mean, pushing the polygel into the cuticle. Okay, now I'm going to start creating, now that I have pushed pro the poly gel into the cuticles, I'm going to start creating the shape and basically I just press down like that and I start making the shape. Basically press, press the brush onto the nail and just slide it onto the product area like that so that it doesn't like put the poly gel anywhere else. Either way, it doesn't matter, I guess, because you're going to put white over it, so you're not really going to see it. Now I'm just making sure it's centered. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, I think that looks pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Alright, now I'm going to take the white and I'm just going to put it all on the empty area. And we're going to push it onto the sides. It's okay if it, if it goes on top of the pink part because when we file, we're going to file all of that off, so it's okay. All right, loves. <laughs> time to go in and file. I am going to go in with my e-file, so yes, just going to fast forward this part. I am so sorry. I literally thought I was I was recording this entire time I was filing my nails and I didn't, so I'm so so sorry, but uh I went to I already went ahead and e-filed my nails and um now I'm just going to buff them out 
and layer some top coat on them and some gems. Simple buffer I get on Amazon. Now let's top coat them. I went ahead and applied a top coat on these four nails and I'm going to leave this one alone for a second. Um, I am going to apply some of this uh, gel, charm gel <laughs> for some charms and I have some charms here that I bought on Amazon not too long ago and some old charms that I've been having since like forever guys. Uh, that I actually got on eBay a long time ago. So, okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing I did right here. So I'm just going to take, oh, wait, hold on. It was on this one. Oh my God. See? Let me top coat this one. Or you know what? Let me just do it real quick. Okay. It was on this one, but it's fine. It's, it's okay if you have top coated it already. It will still stick regardless. So I'm just going to add a nice chunk of gel where I'm going to apply my stones. Then that way they don't move at all. And then I'm just going to take some top coat and just go over everything because this um, gem gel does cure tacky and what I mean by that is like when it cures it does um, have a tacky layer so okay so on this one I took this one put that one right there so pretty guys these gems are so nice And bam, look at how gorgeous that looks. Then I'm gonna take some top coat and just top coat this one. Don't worry guys, I am gonna add so much lotion to my hands right now. Oh no, these kind of moved. Don't want to cure that yet. Alright loves, so this is the finale and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick little montage.
enjoyed this video, go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up. I will be linking down in the description box below this collection for you. Don't forget that I do have a discount code, Claudia, that gets you 15% off of your order. And like I said, hope that you guys loved this video and that you found it helpful. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.